when we were off camera, we talked about Kyle Rittenhouse. Sure. Right? And then uh, you and Tyler, I think, what comment did you make about Kyle yesterday on Tucker? You he's, said. He's, he's a good kid. He's a, he's a kid that you would find in your typical suburban Chicago neighborhood. Yeah. And, and Tyler, what did you say? You said something I mean, about the he, guy. He came off as a good kid. You know, he worked hard. He worked as a janitor to support yeah. his family. Yep. He was a lifeguard. He was a medic. And he was just completely lambasted. It's like he's a completely different kid than what the media portrays. Sure. And then we talk about BLM and, you know, how he supports BLM. Yeah. But he says, I don't support the writing or I don't support the looting and the writing. I just support yeah. the movement, though. Sure. I yeah. support the movement. Great. Fantastic. And then the conversation was what? Well, he was coached. Sure. Because he was coached to do something like this, yeah. right? Well, on and the Tucker in, interview. On the Tucker interview, yeah, he yeah. was coached. Which, by the way, do, do we all agree that he was coached? Of One million percent yeah. he yeah, was yeah, coached. Yeah, yeah. There's no question yeah. he wasn't coached. Of course he was coached. But no matter how much he coaches me, how long will it take you to coach me to beat you in MMA if we go and grapple? How long? <laughs> I don't know. You're looking in pretty good shape. And I know you're back. <laughs> but what, so I, what I'm trying to yeah. say to you is what I'm trying. it's going to take more than a yeah, day or yeah, two. Yeah. It's going to take probably a few years, right? Because sure. that's been your world. Yeah. No matter how much he coaches me or your friend coaches me, how much is it going to take me for me to go do a stand-up comedy and get a 60-minute special? How long mm. is it going to take me? Take Five, ten years? It's going to yeah. take a while. right? So, yeah. so no matter how much you press this power versus force concept mm. to people, they're not gonna. It's yeah. not gonna be a day or two. Or so. it took me three, five years to fully understand where I was dealing with with this. I, I so, know you. I know you want to move on, but I have a, one question on that yeah. because I, I understand that on, on an individual level, and it's a really great way to be introspective and see where you're at. Now, on a collective level, we just saw for 20 months here, fear is is, is an incredibly powerful tool for control. You get people to feel afraid. If you could control their it's the fear. media's business model. Yep. Yeah. I mean. Your three C's, right, BBD? Change, to, conflict, controversy. They, they, they made yep. people afraid of the air, man. There's people still right yeah. now. I was just in St. Louis. There's yeah. people afraid of the air. Yeah. Walking around outside, yeah. muzzled up. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Yep. like how, yep. if you can control them where they see every human being that they encounter as a yep. potential threat, yep. you you can do anything you want with those people. Now, yep. now you're the savior. Yep. You're, hey. Yep. This is a scary world. <laughs> Give me, come with me. Yeah. I'll help you. I'll yeah. save you. It's just going to cost you all your money and your freedom. Yeah. But mm. I'll protect you. I'm the good guy. Right? I got the jab. I, I, I got whatever, whatever, whatever you need, baby. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need a jab. fourth one. I need a fifth and one, dog. <laughs> but fear, the, the lowest level of, of that, uh, force versus power, just put the world on pause for two years. They took the whole world over for two years. By making people afraid. Okay. So how do you how do you process that from an individual level to yeah. a collective level? Yeah. First of all, the fe fear sharpens it's listening, listening yeah. right? When people are afraid, people listen. So they have to scare the hell out of you for you to watch the news. If they don't scare the hell out of you, they're not going to watch the news. So you you, you got to figure out a way to increase the identity of people. And, and like, for example, running the company. When we started off the company, uh, a PHP insurance company, the first thing I said is save in America by bringing back the free enterprise system and hope to American families, right? There's two things you can train people on. Willpower, skill. Skill is how to sell. Will is you can do it, right? Typically, most people think it's skill set that's very necessary. Willpower is just as necessary. Matter of fact, slightly more necessary than skill because willpower may, will make you figure out a way to learn the skill. You're mm -hmm. gonna figure out mm -hmm. the skill, right? Okay. So and yesterday, if all of you have a skill and no willpower, you're just dude, lazy. You're, 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 you're gonna Edison, rely on your oh, yeah. one percent inspiration. Just rely on your skills. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.